Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about how we made our cinematic, how we created a simple rig on the advanced skeleton, and how we established the rhythm. We'll explain how to transfer files from Unreal to Maya, and vice versa. Let's start by importing our character. It will be Paragon. We add him to the library. We find all of this in the file. So he appears in our library and we click add to project. We simply open him within our current project and then proceed to load him. It's all pretty simple. So he appears here in our characters. We open heroes drop and there he is. That's it. He's already in our project. So, in order to animate him, we need to bring him into Maya. We're going to make an FBX out of him. Select the skeletal mesh, go to file, export selection, choose FBX here and save. Now, look closely. Make absolutely sure that the settings are exactly the same as mine. Check this box here. Select single here. That's it. And just export it. Switch to Maya and drag our FBX file right into Maya. Our character has appeared. Now we're going to rig him. For this, you should already have Advanced Skeleton downloaded. So open Advanced Skeleton and click on Name Matcher. A tab like this will appear. In it, specify that our character was imported from Unreal. Select Unreal. Here, you will want to choose the Create Skeleton option. Click OK. Click OK here as well. Now I press the Build Advanced Skeleton button and our rig appears. Now this rig needs to be constrained to the bones. To do this, click the next button, Constrain to Joints. That's it. Our bones are now constrained to the rig. Now we can easily animate it in our project. We choose a free location on Fabi, Polar Facility. We go to the Fabi website and look for it in the list. After that, we need to save it to the library and download it. And then we'll move on to Epic Games. In the library, you'll see it in the list of already downloaded items. Find it and add it to your existing project. Next, you'll need to wait a bit and it will load for you in Unreal. To see the available levels, we need to select the level filter in the All tab and I open Daytime. You can choose the night one as well. To make it appear in Maya, we need to export an FBX. Go to the Interior tab and select all the meshes. There are a lot of them in the list. So select all the way to the end. Next, go to export selected again and save it wherever you need. An FPX export options window will appear and select everything as shown here.
Then, just import everything either by using the import function or simply dragging the FBX into Maya. The location will load seamlessly even with the texture already applied and you can simply disable it or make further adjustments as needed. Next we have the location, we have the character and we start setting up the blocking. In this case, I set up the blocking with blocks and establish the rhythm within it. I immediately set up the camera that we'll be using for everything. And after that, we can calmly move on to animation, knowing that the rhythm is all set. After we've established the rhythm and blocking, we move on to animation. Here the animation is already fully and completely done, and we can clearly see that everything looks absolutely great and works exceptionally well. We'll transfer all of this back into Unreal to render it there with beautiful lighting and in a nice location. So from Maya we'll also need to export an FBX. Select the joints and choose all these bones. Go to File, then Export Selection. Here we basically don't change anything. If you have a range, you can specify the frame range and then do export selection. That's it. Our FPX is basically ready. We'll do the same with our camera. Select it and also go to export selection. Just give it a suitable and descriptive name in this particular case, for example. That's it. Again, we don't change anything here. And export it. After that, we move to Unreal. Here, in the character section, we need to create our own folder for animations. And we drop the created FBX files in there. Here, it's important to select the character you've already created. The Murdoch skeleton. Leave everything else as default. Import. You will have two animations appear. One of these will be completely empty, and the other will contain your newly exported animation file. You can then safely and permanently delete the empty file. To add the animation to a sequence, we need to create our own folder. I'll call it My Sequence. You can name it whatever you like. Go into this folder, then right click and create a level sequencer. Name it however you prefer. Go into it and a sequence window will appear. We immediately add a camera to it, select camera actor, and then just drag it into the window. It will be empty. To add the FBX camera we created, the camera's name must be exactly the same as the one we exported in the FBX. To do this, rename it here. You will need to go to the import section and then proceed to add the camera device. That's it, as you can see, the camera has appeared. It has some blur, or more precisely, defocus. We need to remove that. Go to the camera settings and carefully check that all of your important parameters are precisely set here. And in focus settings, we'll remove it. Do not override.
to add animation to the character. First, we need to add the character itself to the project. First, navigate to the meshes folder, then locate the skeletal mesh, and finally, carefully drag it directly into the main window. Now it's important to reset all the transforms to zero. Reset them, go to the sequence, and now we need to move it into the window. Just drag it in like this. Here you can add animation by clicking the plus sign. This list contains all the animations for this character. Find the one you need. That's it, the animation is now ready. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Support us with likes and a subscription.